Do you want to know exactly how you can get these masters really quickly in the brand new Search for Eldorado promo? Well in this video I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. Alright so as you can see we've got these 491 overall masters and this brand new 93 overall Tim Duncan in the brand new search for Eldorado promo. It's looking like an alright promo, I don't know how much you'll be able to get no money spent but I'm going to show you exactly how you can get these masters if you're looking to get them. So if we go first of all into the events you can see here it is a little bit confusing as there is quite a lot of events you have to play but what you want to do is head over to the left hand side as you can see you've got this little jungle section and you want to play through these events. So as you can see under the different players, so under Jalmar under Bradley Bill and so on and so on you've got these different events underneath them and each one on the first win will give you some extra Eldorado emblems and you'll get some extra rewards like monthly master emblems coins XP stuff like that basically what you'd get in a normal promo but you'll get these emblems so as you can see there's four events for each of them there's four shooting guard events there's four point guard events and so on so as you can see each one they're going to give you a little bit more emblems until you get to the final one where it's going to give you 200 extra emblems plus an Eldorado point guard pack or different position packs so you'll get a shooting guard pack from the shooting guard one and you'll get a 70 to 85 overall player now these players they can be used in sets which we'll go on to later to get some more emblems or they can be used in your new season two lineup for the road to gold lineup because quite a lot of people their lineups aren't that great like mine isn't that good there's lots of silvers cards there's lots of bronze cards there's some gold cards in there as well so this is just the way you can upgrade that lineup if you want to gain some 70 to 85 overall players and not only that you do have a chance of getting this Jal Morant so in each of them you have a chance of getting the master just the 85 version of the master so this one you'll be have a chance of getting Bradley Bill this one you have a chance of getting that Gordon Hayward this one for Jonathan Isaac and this one you'll get a chance of getting a Nikola Vucevic so there is a little chance whether you get it or not let me know in the comments down below if you manage to pull any of these but you will have to be quite lucky to be able to get any of those masters from those packs so what I recommend you do is just play through all of these events make sure you're getting your first wins and as you can see the last one is 100 stamina compared to the other ones which are just 50 stamina and 75 stamina so it is corresponding to the different amount of emblems you're going to get so the higher the emblems you're going to get the more stamina it costs but make sure you're playing through all of these as you can see they're on refresh I think it's about every eight hours they'll refresh so make sure you're getting your first wins playing through all of them then as you can see if you've got some extra stamina saved up you can play this blitz event right here and it will give you some extra Eldorado emblems. It will give you 70 on each win. And this one's repeatable. So you can do that as many times as you want if you've got the extra stamina. Then there's also this bonus event. Now to unlock this one, we'll go into it later. But you've got to buy the event pass in the store, which costs real money if you're willing to spend that. By all means, go do that and you'll get some, um, you'll get an Eldorado event pack. So basically what you get at the end of uh, completing the four events from the Masters, you'll get this. So you get a 74, 8 to 85 overall player, which is nice. Then you've got these little events here around the edge of Tim Duncan, which is looking like pretty nice. I think they smashed it on the design uh, side of this for this promo. But as you can see, there's different events here. You got the first one for Steve Nash and you'll get a golden artifact and a 1% chance of getting that Steve Nash um, if you do this. But all of these are locked, so they're based on what the career highs are of these players. So for Steve Nash, the highest amount of assists he got was 22. So if you get 22 assists while this promo is out, you're going to be able to unlock this event and be able to do it. Each of them cost 100 stamina. So for the Steve Nash one, just do 22 assists, maybe play some seasons, play some showdowns. Then for Alex English, you're going to have to get 24 baskets. Pretty easy stuff to do. The next one, Bob Lehner, you're going to have to just get 16 rebounds. Uh, Robert Horry, you're going to have to get six blocks. Uh, to get John, you're just going to have to get five steals. And then for Steve Kerr, you're just going to make eight three-pointers. And then you'll be able to get these. And you do obviously have that 1% chance of pulling one of the Masters. But if you don't, it's all right. You'll get a Golden Artifact, which again, we'll go on to later. Because um, it can be a bit confusing at times as to what you actually have to do. But that should hopefully help you out. And then as you can see on the right-hand side, once you come out the jungle, as it were, you've got these Gilded players. Um, so the first one's for a point guard gilded game. Now to get this one, you're going to have to get an 89 overall ungilded master. And the ungilded side is over here. That's the jungle side. And then this is the gilded side. So you're going to have to get an 89 version of this master over here of the ungilded side, which we'll go into later in the sets. But once you've got that, then you, these events will unlock and they're similar to the other ones. So at the end, you're going to get a gilded Eldorado pack, which just gives you some more players you can get for your season two lineup and maybe to exchange in the sets for some extra players in that. So... 
make sure you're playing your first wins on this side make sure you're playing that blitz event if you've got extra stamina saved up and then also make sure you're trying to do these events to get some artifacts so maybe play some showdown maybe play some seasons i reckon seasons is probably the easiest to do just because you're more likely to get the points get the steals it's a lot easier than coming up a really high overall rated team in showdown now with all this stuff you're going to get let's hold over into the sets as to what you can actually do with it as you can see at the top you've got these three different sets now the first one you're going to have to get each of the 85 overall versions of the player so each of them from the ungilded section of the map you're going to have to get each one of them and you only have to get one of each of them so you're going to have one jamarant one badly bill and so on and so on and then you'll get an 89 overall select pack now when you get this like i said earlier you will unlock the gilded side of the map so you can play for more players more emblems uh, you can play for all of that once you've got unlocked this set and done it so you'll turn in all five guild ungilded players to select between either that chris paul or the joel and bead and you also get an 85 overall ungilded player back so i think you'll get one of the ones that you put in so either jal morant bradley bill gordon hayward all of those guys you'll get one of them back um i don't know whether you get to choose that or whether the the game just gives you one of them in the pack but you get one of them back and you'll get five golden artifacts which again we'll go on to later but then once you get joel and bead and you got that chris paul you can trade in two of them so you either trade in chris paul and joel and bead for chris paul 91 overall version or you trade in both of them to get the 91 overall version of joel and bead so it's up to you which one you go for whether you want to go for joel and bead or whether you want to go for chris paul but that's what you're going to have to do first so you can even unlock the gilded side of the stuff so once you've done that you've unlocked the events you've played through all the ungilded section of the map you've got your chris paul you've got your joel and bead so once you've got through all of that then you can start working on your gilded side of the map and you can get the 85 overall versions of the gilded players then you can put those in the set to get an 89 overall select pack similar to the joel and bead and the chris paul set so it's similar to that stuff but for different players so obviously you've got og ananobi and you've got that clay thompson nice to see clay thompson back in the game um, I know he's been out for the season hopefully he can come back next season and start playing again with the Warriors because I think we're going to need it but anyway it's the same thing you're going to have to trade in both the 89s for a 91 version of either OG Ananobi or the 91 version of Clay Thompson so it's up to you which one you go for obviously you're going to have to try and get some of these ungilded players before you can go on to the gilded side of the map so you can unlock those events so you can get the players but then once we go over into Tim Duncan you can see you're going to need one gilded player and one ungilded player both of the 91 overall versions of them so whether you get i don't know um 91 chris paul and 91 og ananobi you can stick them in the set get tim duncan out of it and it's looking like what you're going to get is you're just going to get their grandmaster and you're not going to get the 91 overall masters back is you might do i don't know um but yeah, you're just going to get that 93 Tim Duncan who is looking pretty nice. He has a strategic power forward, which I think we needed in the game. But then you've also got this stuff. So like I was saying with the artifacts, if you stick them in here, um, instead of getting the 1% chance of getting a master, you're guaranteed to get an 87 overall Eldorado veteran. So that's Steve Nash, that's uh, Steve Kerr, stuff like that. Like I said at the beginning where they did like 22 assists and all those objectives. So you have a guaranteed chance of getting one of them um, in this one and you get to select which one. So save up your golden artifacts so you can put them in the set to get those select packs then as you can see here we've got some extra sets right here so if you want to try it in five of the 78 overall gilded players or el dorado players you'll get 3000 emblems so it's similar to the other stuff where you get um like last promo you get 3000 points but this one you're just going to trade in five of the players and you'll get some emblems similar stuff so five elite players gets you 8500 dorado emblem so it's just increasing with the higher overall and this one's basically just any gold player um 70 to 77 overall not the higher end of the gold players you'll get 150 el dorado emblem so that's pretty nice you can trade in any player you want maybe buy some on the auction house you're getting a couple of el dorado emblems with that then you've also got another one which is just a bulk one where you can trade in 15 instead of the previous five so you can trade in 15 gold players and you'll get 500 el dorado emblem so it's up to you which one you do that i think they're both the same value but yeah that's nice you're trading in gold players that you might have saved up on your bench just to save a bit of inventory space then you've got these extra packs so you can trade in 40 of the position tokens or live today trophies to get a 78 to 85 overall pack so you'll get anywhere between that you might have a chance of getting the masters from this pack but it's a nice way to clear your bench out as we see each one there's a different one so shooting guard for the shooting guard pack small forward for the small forward pack 
and lots of people might have a lot of these saved up if you've been playing live today or even if you've been saving up when there was another promo that needed these you will have a lot on your bench you could just use because i know inventory space has been an issue and it's looking like this this is what these sets are for so they're going to help you clear out some of your bench space now if we head over into the store by the way if you are enjoying this video and it is helping you out make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new for brand new tips and tricks videos like this one and comment down below what masters you're going to go for and what you think of the promo so if you go into the store and then the elder section you can see here this here is the El Dorado event pass this will unlock the pass that I said the event you can play to get an extra player a day um, so it costs a little bit of money it does come with 200 stamina and 600 emblems if you want to spend it you can I'm not I'm staying with no money spent like all the promos then you got another offer for 300 stamina and 600 emblems up to you whether you spend it there's also a starter pack if you want to buy that but then here we have the coin packs and the watch ads so make sure you watch your ads every single day you'll get five of them every single day and that's an extra 250 emblems if you watch all five ads a day so that's pretty nice then you've also got you can buy five golden artifact emblems for 30k each so that's for 150k you're getting five golden artifact emblems and then if you look at that you need 30 to get one of the 87 overall masters so you should be able to get that within the promo then you've also got some packs you can buy with cash if you want to you got a 300 nba cash one for five percent chance at one of the masters you got 500 emblems for 250 cash or you got that 5k plus an extra 1k emblems for 2500 cash so i suggest what you do definitely watch your ads every single day maybe spend some of your coins on the golden artifacts if you're looking to get those 87 overall players if you want to maybe spend some nba cash if you're close to getting one of the masters and you need those extra emblems so what you actually do with the emblems is if you go back into the limited time event you can see here just above the events you can see you've got these offers for the masters so you're going to need 10,000 for jam run and you'll get an extra golden artifact um, token and then you can see there it's the same for all of them they'll each cost 10,000 of the emblems to buy them then you can stick them in the set like I said earlier put them in the set get the 89 overall version maybe get two of those trade it up to the 91 overall version but you can do these i think as many times as you want so i could get five different jonathan isaacs and use them all in the sets if i wanted to but that's pretty nice and it's the same for the gilded side so once you unlock the events to get the um, players so obviously for this one you're going to need the 89 overall version of chris paul or joel Embiid, and you can unlock this gilded side of the map but you'll get the similar stuff so you'll get one artifact and you'll get the patrick mills as well so it's up to you which one you do um which masters you're going to go for but you have to get an ungilded one first so you have to get Chris Paul or Joel Embiid up to that 89 overall version of them before you can start moving on to the gilded side of the map because I really want to get that Clay Thompson because I mean Warriors fan and I think he'd just be a great addition to the team so I might try and go for him but let me know in the comments down below which masters you're going to go for I do need a power forward but I mean Tim Duncan's going to be pretty hard to get no money spent but let me know all of your thoughts about the promo in the comment section down below leave a like on the video subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one peace